We will check a couple of your homework problems, and then I'm going to assign the rest of the problems that are on this worksheet. All right, so if I'm going to enter the data into my graphing calculator, I go to stats. Number one, I want to edit, and then I enter my list in. I'm just going to check my numbers to make sure they're all in here correctly. All right, I have my X and Y values. My X and my Y values are entered into my graphing calculator. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to do stats, calculate a linear regression, AX plus B. So number four, I'm using list one and list two. Today, I would like to show you how to get the calculator to enter y equals ax plus b into y equals. Instead of skipping this, we want to store the regression equation. I'm going to stop on store regression equation. And I'm looking for this variable. I'm looking for the y equals variable. So that means I would go to the next button. Vars is variables. I'm looking for the y variable, so I arrow over. Yes, it's a function, number one. And there are all of the y's that are listed in the graphing. y1, y2, y3, y4. I can store as many as I want. I'm going to go and have it be stored on y1, so I hit enter. Now it says that I'm using list 1 and list 2 with my data. My regression equation is going to be stored in y1. So I go down, and now I'm going to have it calculate. And I'm still going to write down everything that I need for A, B, and R. I'm going to use this now to create my equation. Y equals AX plus B. Y equals 1.88X plus 82.65. Before I answer this question, I am going to go and look and see that this equation with all of the decimal numbers, now this is just an estimate, this is very accurate. To have all of the decimal numbers going to infinity is going to give me a very accurate answer. So when I go over to y equals, notice that that equation has been stored in here for us, 1.88 blah 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 blah. Plus is my x plus 82.64, and that goes on for as many digits as you allow your calculator. So we can see that our equation has been stored into y1. All right, go to zoom. Number nine for zoom stats. I'm just going to hit the number nine, but looking at it today, we're doing zoom stat. There it is, zoomed right in on my stats. There's the line that's been stored in y equals. And now that I have my data, I have the best fit line. I can use this best fit line to make some predictions. An anthropologist finds a femur of length 58. How tall is the person? Femur, length 58. What is the height? How tall is the person? And again, your calculator is going to do all this work for you. One way that I could see would be just to go to a table of values. In blue, above graph, it says a table. And our table starts at 1. I don't really want to scroll all the way down to 58. I could go to table set in blue. Table set is in blue. I would like to set my table to start not at 0. How about we start at 55, a little bit before. Table values is going by one. If I wanted to have decimals and I needed to have, you know, 39.5, 42.7, then I would change this to be decimals. Let's do that. Let's say that we want to have one decimal place, so I'm going to put 0.1. And let's, now that we're going with decimals, let's start closer to 58, let's say 57. Now go back to my table of values. 
and we can see that we are in tenths. And if I scroll up, there's 58. For a femur that is 58 centimeters, the height will be 191.73 centimeters. And they're going to the tenth place, so 191.7. That's one way, using a table of values, setting your table. I'm going to go back and reset my table. I'm going to have it start at zero, and I'm going to go by ones, integers. Now, if I go back and look at my table, I'm starting at zero, and they're going by ones. Another way that I could think about what would 58 be, now that I have my data and my best fit line, I could go to calculate. Calculate, let the calculator calculate some things for us. So in blue, calculate, what do I wanna know? I wanna know when an X value, number one, when X is 58. Now something that might happen right now is that if my window is not in range of 58, I'm gonna get an error. So my window has to be correct. It has to be in my window if I'm looking for data, let's see what happens. Is X equals 58 gonna be in my window? That would be no. I went to go to, when I hit enter, number two, go to, go to, go to where it's invalid. Number two, it's telling me that this number here, that means that my window does not go up to 58. So how about if I go to window, my X minimum is 36 and my X maximum is 58. It's not within the window range. So let's say that we want our maximum value to go to 60. That covers 58. And let's up this Y value max to go to like 500. I always just do a big number. Graph. This is not the kind of graph that I would want to look at if I was analyzing a graph, but right now I'm looking for X is 58. If I go back to my window, I'd wanna see a minimum. Let's say we wanna to go to negative 10, just to be, so I can see the axis going down. I could go into my window and say, you know what? I don't wanna go by ones. Let's go by tens. Our X scale is going by 10. Let's have our Y scale going by 10s, 10, 20, 30. And that kind of spaces the graph out a little bit more as well. Now, looking at my window, and I know that my X of 58 is going to fit here. And I went to a really big number for my Y max, even though I know it's 191. I wouldn't know that necessarily if I was using calculating an X value. So I would just go to a big number. All right. We're going to go back to the graph. We're going to go to calculate. And I want to calculate that value. Number one, when X is 58, what's Y going to be? 191.73. That is two different ways to be able to find out an X value. I can literally calculate a value, but I've got to make sure I fix my window. Or I could use the table. And then again, with the table, I would just want to set my table, where I want it to start, what decimal places I want to go by, where do I want to start? I want to start my table at something before that, 57. And I don't want to go by ones, I want to go by tenths. So I put 0.1. I could put 0 0.01, and that would bring me to the hundreds place table. Now we're going by the hundreds place, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Table set, I could go by thousands place, 0 0.001. Go to table, and there we are, tenths, hundreds, thousands. So I can set my table to start wherever I want to and how many decimal places I'd like to have. Going by ones and going by two, zero. Going back to zero by ones. All right, number two. A convenience store manager notices the sales of soft drinks are higher on hot days, so he assembles the data in the table shown below. 
find the equation, and then predict what's going to happen when the temperature is 95. All right, go to stats. I want to edit a list. I'm going to go over. I'm going to use my arrow keys and go up on L2, hit clear, come back down, go over to L1, hit clear, and come back down and start entering my data. Good thing I check. 68. Zoom. Stat number nine. I need to go to y equals, and I need to clear out that line. There's my stats. Now the best fit line, going to stats, calculate number four, linear regression. List one, list two. And here we go, practicing having that equation stored into Y1. I'm storing the regression equation. I need to find the Y variable. I go to variables, bars, variables. I'm looking for the Y variable. Yes, it's a function, number one. And there is Y1. We have 16 point four two x minus six twenty one point eight three. Now I need to find out when the temperature is ninety five. If I go to look at my graph is ninety five in my window range. I'm doing when x is ninety five. See how high these numbers are getting seven eighty it's going to be higher than that. I'll probably set my calculator at about 1,000. So I need 95. I'm going to go to window. And my Y max is only at 86. I'm just going to make it a big number, 100. And then my Y value is going from 259 to 855. I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm just going to put 1,000. I'm going to go above where I think it is on both of these. I set it for 100. And for a thousand, I'm going by tens. I'm going by tens. That seems okay. Now I'm going to calculate. I'm using calculate, I'm going to calculate that value. Number one, when x is 95, enter, and I see it's 937, and they've got whole numbers, so I'm going to say 938. Number of cans sold would be 938. I could have used the table of values. Go to table. It's starting at zero and I need to be at 95. So I go to table set. I want to start my table at 94. And that should be good. My table is starting at 94 and it says that 95 is 937.72, 938. Use the equation to predict soft drink sales if the temperature is 95. I would say 938 cans sold 191.7 centimeters all right your homework is to finish the next two problems problem four and problem five Your homework is to finish problems four and five. All five problems are complete for regression equations. 